Hey guys, Tim here from Boogie Snail Mushroom. Hope you're having a very great day. Just in uh, attack and uh, release controls on the compressor can have a surprising effect on the program sound. So in this video I will show you great mastering compression tips and tricks that nobody will uh, tell you about. So before we start, uh, please remember if you have a mix that you need mastered or remastered, request a quote at bsmastering.com and uh, receive 50% of your first order. I would also very much appreciate guys if you subscribe and hit the notification bell to uh, support my channel. And now let's uh, get to the video. Slower release settings will usually make the gain changes less audible, but will also lower the perceived volume. A slower attack setting will tend to ignore the drums and other fast signals, but will react to the vocals and uh, bass. A slower attack setting might also allow a transients to overload the next piece of equipment in the chain. It is also possible that any gain changes on the compressor caused by drum hits can pull down the level of the vocals and bass. They cause overall volume changes in the program. Usually only the fastest attack and uh, release setting will make the sound pump or distort. Also, the more bouncy the level meter, the more likely that the compression will be audible. Quiet passages that are too loud and noisy are usually a giveaway that you are seriously over compressing. Like a diamond with a curse If 
So don't just set those attack and uh, release controls to the middle and forget about them. They can make a big difference on your final mustard sound. <laughs> 